I'll see you guys when I'm back on my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name's Lydia, and today I'm going to be talking about how to take care of yourself and your mental health during this whole. I can't say the word. Because, uh, YouTube um, don't like the word. I do have a little plan I wrote down. I made this last night. But basically, what I want to talk about today is how you can take care of your mental health during this time and why it's important to do so. I do want to add please follow your local government's procedure lockdown and only go out when you need to. Other than that, stay at home. It doesn't matter if you've got the virus, got symptoms. For all you know, you could be a carrier of it and you might not be affected by it, but you're carrying the disease and it goes on to someone else. And we're trying to prevent death here. That being said, getting fresh air is super important and if you're in the UK, this is the lockdown protocol. Yes, the police have got more powers now. I did talk about this in yesterday's video. I have five little tips for maintaining your mental health. I also have some self-care ideas and a few things that I want to add into this video. But to start with, I feel like we should start with the self-care idea because I think it's not a nice little way to get into the video. I have a self-care box, crisis box, whatever you want to call it as. I did a video showing what's in mine and I'll put that on the little icon, whichever side it may be. I think it's outside. I never know when I'm filming, it's either that side or that side. I'll flip it regardless, but it's one of them sides. So my self-care box has been super handy during this, actually. I have been struggling with it all. And, you know, it might be a box filled with random things, but they keep me busy and distracted and that's the way you want me to be. So some ideas I have, and down on here anyway, is face masks. So self-care ideas. We've got face masks, face masks, face masks, decorate in your room. I have my fairy lights, they're not plugged in. Should I plug them in? Decorating your room. I'm gonna be doing this later on. I'm gonna be redecorating everywhere and we're ready to sort of stuff out. Um virtual Netflix. Now this is something I think is really cool. I didn't know it I knew it existed, but I never did it this way. There's an app you can get now where you can virtually watch Netflix with your friends, your family, without being without breaking the social distancing rule and regulations. I'd highly recommend it. And another important thing is to FaceTime friends, family. Like I again, I haven't done this myself, but I don't I don't talk to my family, really. And after last night, uh, there is no chance. Keeping in contact with friends and loved ones, that's really important. Um, another self-care thing I like using is my weighed blanket because my PTSD has been, it's been taking me for a ride. But I like using my weighted blanket, I find it really grounding and generally I just like using it. Another thing, scrapbooking. Like recently I've been doing like a page a day where I've been drawing poetry, diary entries. I, I've been doing I'm playing baby for that, so I need to like, stick it into my scrapbook, which I'm gonna do later on today. Another thing is writing. I've been doing this as well, I've been writing and, like songs and all of that because well I'm teaching myself the ukulele finally colouring books I re you know I recommend these anyway I love them um colouring books highly recommended you can get them for super cheap on Amazon if you haven't got one also quickly to add into this video I am doing a giveaway that ends in 10 days and I've got 464 entries to go through how fun. Um, there is also daily entries you can do on the giveaway. Um, the giveaway is for a free, fully customised self-care box, which at the moment I think we could all do with. And another thing that I like doing that I, I classify as self-care is watching a candle melt. I find it so relaxing and I like ask anyone who's been in my flat, like I, I will light a candle and just sit and play with the, with the melted wax because it pour it into things that I'm... I'm a freak. They're just some little self-care ideas and obviously also like showering, taking care of yourself. I know a lot of us are struggling with motivation right now. I mean, I know I am. I know a few other people are. Like, I... My motivation is just nothing. I, I don't know. I, I, I was struggling last week with it. But I was still trying to do this every day and honestly it drained me. Like, this weekend I adore to get food. Moving on to maintaining your mental health because I have five little tips for you guys. So one, take your medication and do your best to stay in contact with your mental health team. And I'm saying this because people online have been spreading around that mental health teams aren't working, they're not accepting referrals, they're not accepting admissions. And I just want to take a minute to say that's completely untrue. I personally know four people who are in hospital at the moment and two of them got admitted since the lockdown was put in place so i can confirm they don't live in london they don't live in london either they live in other parts of the uk they are still fully functioning and that's important to say because people have been saying oh there's no point for them they won't help my mental health team is still fully operational and fully functioning and i should say i'm not under the community mental health team i'm under the recovery support team which is different to a community they operate differently i'm under that team because they suit my needs but yes they are still all working mainly via phone so yes it's not face to face but a lot of them are doing phone call appointments which if you're struggling honestly don't be afraid to seek help like just don't 
I, I know that's easier said than done and I'll get back onto this in a minute. Number two is because a lot of us are online now and spending more time online, block the negativity. Nobody wants to see people hating on other people. It's not fun, it's not cool, it's not trendy. So what I'm saying is if people start harassing you, going off on one at you, screenshotting every tweet you post because they haven't got anything better to do with their lives. Number three is to build a crisis plan and I'm going to do a whole video where I show what I did and make one with you. Um, I'm going to be doing that at some point so stay tuned for that. Number four, don't be afraid to see your mental illness does not care that there is a global pandemic at the moment. I wish it got the memo to be honest because I don't know like the whole social isolation is just worse and um, don't be afraid to seek help don't be afraid to phone crisis numbers number five which is the last little point make sure you keep in contact with friends and family i said it before i'm gonna say it again it's important so there is one thing that i want to end this video on and before i answer that if you're new and you're still here subscribe um if you have any video ideas or requests leave them in the comments below and this is what i wanted to say don't tell anybody they shouldn't be seeking support or help for their mental health just because there is a global pandemic going on. Our mental illness doesn't care that that's going on. A lot of us struggle with social isolation already and this whole lockdown thing has made that 10 times worse. Obviously the lockdown was needed but it doesn't mean that we're all going to cope with it. Mental illness doesn't just come and go because things, other things are going on in the world. It is there regardless. It's not okay to tell anybody that they shouldn't be seeking support it's not okay to tell people they can't take care of their mental health. Your mental illness doesn't give a fuck. Yes, there's a global pandemic, but, you know, mental illness is still there.